Hello everybody, my name is Lisa, this is my little corner, you're very welcome. Uh, in here I talk about art, I talk about art materials, I review art materials, um, I review art books, either ones that I've come across in charity shops, which is a favourite topic of mine, or new ones. Now, the one I'm talking about today is by an another YouTuber. A very 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 successful one her name is Robin Sealark and the book is I painting every day step-by-step -step beginners to painting the world around you and there's like a subtitle develop a successful daily creative habit I discovered her a couple of years ago I think now her name just appeared in one of those suggestion things um, on YouTube so she gave me the confidence to step back into painting where I had um, I'd given up I suppose I Robbins talks about skill a skill gap and that's definitely what I was suffering from what I was trying to create but yet what I found myself struggling for there was this this gap and I didn't know how to fill it and of course then that feeling about well I haven't been professionally trained so what's the point she opened up a whole possibilities for me and her videos really, really enhanced what I was able to do. Now saying that, I'm hoping that my review will be unbiased. I have something to compare it to. Yeah. I'm just going to drop this bit in here because um, I wanted to contrast experiences I've had with other sort of learn to draw, learn to paint uh, books and magazines and what have you. So the first one, I bought this some time ago and it's by, uh, I don't know who these people are, LMB. I think I picked it up in a discount books bookshop and it's called How to Draw and Paint in a book this size. That's a, <laughs> that, that's a big statement. And it, it starts out with drawing, um, it talks about about things, There's too, for me personally, there is way too much going on in here. I'm um, beginning to question if I've got AD, if I've got attention deficit, because this is far too much for me. I tried and tried and tried with it, and I've ended up throwing it across. <laughs> thrown across the room I've kept it for reference to see but I, it, it just felt so dense it felt so um like moving through mod by comparison I think that the joy of this is she's stuck to one topic um she hasn't tried to do everything she's stuck with what she knows and I think for that, it's a more efficient, it's a much more efficient introduction than trying to do everything and then failing and giving up and wasting your money, quite frankly. The other thing that I find re I really liked in this, she does paint swatches. So she'll swatch all the col colour combinations that she uses in a piece that you're going to use. So I I've always found identifying colors a trial but if i if if i'm been moved in the right direction it's really helped me and i i have started to build up almost like a catalog of color color combinations color combinations that would never have occurred to me so naples yellow and like phthalo blue i think it's a phthalo blue or cobalt blue creating a muted neutral green for trees in the distance that for an example that was a revelation don't know where i learned that but i found it somewhere along the way but this one tries to do too much it's very prescriptive um and then you do this and then you add that and then and the um the topics the subjects I think for a beginner just way too complex that for instance it's 
that felt intimidating. So I didn't enjoy that. Another one that I just bought this recently. I didn't realise that there was uh, artists' magazines. It's called Leisure Painter. And there are a few things in here that I'm really interested in finding out more about florals and things like that. But um, there's this claim about landscape painting in easy stages. And it's a impressionistic version of bluebells. It's, it's very on theme for spring. Bluebells in the woods. And it, it gives the colour palette that you're going to need. And it tells you how to mix them. But I didn't enjoy it. What I ended up doing was tossing it to one side, taking the reference photo and doing my own version. Now maybe that's just me and the way I am. I got confused. There was so much going on. I got confused and I abandoned it, went back, did my own version because I was very attracted to the topic. But maybe I was being, maybe I was compelling myself to do an exact, an exact replica of this. So I decided, no, I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to do my own version. Quite happy with it. But it's not as lively and as alive as I wanted it to be. But hey ho. Anyway, we live and learn. So, yeah, I just wanted to add those bits about comparing her to, comparing her book. To some other things that I've used. Now back to the main feature. <laughs> not, an, not an exact equivalent but I have read down the years I have had lots of easy to paint books and a beginner's guide to this that and the other only to become very um, lost because one of the problems everything's shaking one of the problems is, is the language and I think some of them try to do too much in a small space and forgetting that you're kind of interpreting, you're reading something and then translating that into a physical action. That for me has always been a bit of a problem. But her book breaks it down in such a way that it's, I have found it really accessible. She is a natural communicator. She's also an educator. That's her background, I believe. Uh, she has taught, so I think that comes across very much. Um, right, so I will start from the top. I do have some notes made, so if I'm glancing off here, there and everywhere, it's because I'm trying to be approach this methodically, which isn't my nature, and to cover as much terrain as I can. So, yes, back to basics. This is published by Quarry. It's 128 pages by Robin Seelark, YouTuber extraordinaire. So the premise of the book is that this is an introduction to oil painting and in doing so to, to reveal the joy in oil. <laughs> the joy in oil. Remove the mystique. Um, break it down into accessible parts. But at the same time, helping you build exercises that you can work every day. So the more you work, the more you apply yourself, the better those skills become. Nobody's going to walk through the door being Rembrandt. You have to learn skills, then you have to practice them. And there's exercises to cover all of that in here. There are um, blending exercises as well as some figure drawing, like really quick, rapid fire figure drawing. Where is it? Just, you know, setting timers, doing three minute bursts on something, doing that every day, taking you through it. You know, how to set out about painting, how to do thumbnail sketches. And all of these things will essentially become a habit, but they'll also make a, a massive, a huge, huge difference to your finished product. So she starts at the very beginning. What is oil painting? How it works, how to use it, the materials that you're going to use, the surfaces, canvases, MDF board, canvas board, how to prep it, how to look after your brushes. Let me give you, right, for an example, a thick
thin bouncy metal knife is going to make a difference I didn't realize but until I actually sat down and thought about it and bought one and noticed the difference in how thoroughly it mixes you get that lovely creamy thoroughly mixed pigment that's for instance that that to me is an eye-opener I know um, so uh, looking after the brushes cleaning them how to use thinners liquid and so on then there's an overview of color theory now color theory is an enormous topic it's a massive subject let's face it it's almost it is science isn't it so she does a very clear very concise basic about color theory which again you're going to need to know that before you go any further you have to know how color works complementaries neutrals the, the basics you know you do need to know these things and their place then when you're working so there's that but i would suggest <clears throat> it is very very basic and it'd be well worth doing some more reading up on the back of it but it's a great place to start and again you do need to know it um, then there's um, exercises about actually blending actually learning how to use oil paint because it's not acrylics it dries slowly it moves around a lot that's a plus but it can also be quite unstable and um, but using that to your advantage, how not to overwork something, how to get two colours to, to mould, meld together and give you something entirely different that you can work from. And that's, that's the creative part of it. That's the bit that you can surprise yourself with and it'll take you on somewhere else. Or it might change the direction of what you're trying to do. So then... And I think this, again, is a really, really important thing. There's a glossary of terminology. So that, for me, unlocks some of the mysteries. Art has a language that can make it appear a little bit elitist, like it's... OK, listen, I'll put it this way. Every discipline has its own language be it science, medicine, literature, and art in particular can be quite um, a bit precious about itself. But she, um, she breaks down um, the glossary. So it's, it's a glossary. I'm, I'm babbling, but bear with me while I find it. Yeah. Alla prima, glazing, charcoal transfer, transfer drawing, blocking in. Okay, so blocking in is really, really really important I didn't know about it I didn't understand it and knowing that premise of starting with your your different values and those are the building blocks of your painting who knew so <laughs> those are the basic so those are the starting points of the book now, you, again, the joy of a book, you can go at your own pace, you can go back to something or you can skip ahead if you're like me and have no attention, basically. Then, you know, blending the paint with any, any skill that you're learning. And I think she's thought about this, this in here. So you've got all of this stuff you've been given and you're dying to try it. It's at this point, right, I'm speaking from my personal experience, it's at this point where I will become disheartened. Because, like I said, I'm not getting out what I think I should be getting out and I get frustrated. And I could very well at that point go, forget it. She does this exercise, transfer drawing. So this is her, this is her, dude. This is her little character, who I'll talk about it later. But how to transfer... A photo, an object, subject, something that you've liked. Get it down and start working on it and then feel like a genius. OK, so that, that's been my reaction to that technique, which I use all the time, really. 
It's no substitute for joy, but if you want to get out of the starting blocks and get to painting and get to feel that you're a ma you've mastered something of it, this is a wonderful, and this, I don't know if that's the objective here, but for me, that's been really helpful in building my confidence, in building my faith <clears throat> in my ability to do something. So that's one of the, the first, um, that's one of the first, exercises so then going through the rest of the book she has um broken down the exercises into the kind of the, the different disciplines so there's still life landscape so slash seascape um and portrait so there is a reference photo for each of these subjects now very importantly she says very early on in the book that you can either use the reference photo that she's given and follow step by step or which is what i did start a portrait do a landscape whatever use your own reference photo then you use the techniques that she describes and produce your own thing so be prepared my big reveal La la la. this is this is mine she does a very um photo realis photo realism is like one of her trademarks her waves her landscapes her portraits are hyper realistic now it's always looked like something totally unachievable from from where i sat but she the important thing in her technique is to build up thin layers so my temptation has always been to just start lashing paint at things but no hold back give yourself a chance stand back it's not a race and i have achieved something that i would never never in a million years have thought possible now listen it's not perfect but as a starting point to show myself that i have the capacity i have the ability and i don't think i have any more skills than the average, the really average person. I've got a bit more experience and probably the only difference, just got a bit more experience with different things. But she really has made that so much more achievable for me than I would ever imagined. Now the next thing I did was, so there are two seascapes I think that she did, two seascape exercises in here that she did yeah um but i used my own photo reference and i did this um i've done another one up there as well um funnily enough painting the sea is difficult let's face it there is so much going on there's so many moving parts the light but it's a starting point and i'm quite pleased how this came out the mistake I made was to use a really, really bad reference photo. So I couldn't, I couldn't thoroughly look at the light and how it was working and how it was um, <clears throat> hitting the waves and the different dimensions. But very pleased with that. Um, now there are, like I said, I think there must be like six different exercises. There's cloud paintings. There's the figure drawing, warm-ups. The other really important thing that I, I hadn't learned a lot about was glazing and how it can make a difference, particularly like on skin. That if, I mean, I had felt that that was, before this, it was like a bit pink, but I put a really um, diluted glaze of liquid and yellow ochre over it. And it just brought everything down. It desaturated things and it gave it a warmth that it lacked before. So that is, I think I've covered everything. I think I have. I know I probably haven't, but I found this book to be very beyond useful. It's not just like really practical. She herself as an individual is very engaging 
um, tremendously generous with her knowledge and seems to really enjoy dispensing that and sharing it and what genuinely wanting people to enjoy it as much as she does and to not care about the outcomes but the process is as important and to enjoy it and it doesn't have to be you know you don't have to have a studio in every color of oil painting available you can sit in your corner and you can produce something and once you do that you're going to unlock something in yourself art is so so important and unfortunately we live in a time where in a, I'm on a rant, okay? So if you want to skip ahead, do. <laughs> but if if you have a few minutes, please indulge me. We live in a time where art is not taught in schools. It's not valued. The creative joy and expression that children can achieve through art is, is so underappreciated. If you're a child, listen, and I, it goes for every child. If, if you're artistic as a kid and that's where you're you that's what you've been blessed with say as opposed to a child who's very mathematical or a child who's extremely good at languages or or so on and so forth you're not given a chance to shine you're not given a chance to investigate what you can do and you don't get to nourish something you know you don't get to oh, what am I looking you don't get the chance to investigate it because art takes time it is time consuming it because there's setting up and then there's cleaning up and then there's sometimes there's just sitting around thinking about stuff wait inspiration doesn't turn up on your tabletop every single morning you have to go looking for it maybe it'll find you maybe it won't and one art lesson once a week with some paints it's not enough i suppose it costs money for schools to provide the materials for it as well doesn't it i hadn't thought about that but anyway if you were one of those kids who never got a chance to to have a go or if you're a person who was maybe the mathematical kid who was told you weren't artistic and you weren't able to find out that perhaps you did have an artistic side this book is a great start. Don't be intimidated by oil painting. Don't be intimidated by some of the topics and the subjects in here because it looks it looks dead difficult. Art isn't easy peasy lemon squeezy or else we'd all be doing it every single day of the week. But it's not as frightening as you thought it was. So please take my hearty recommendation. Go out, get it, get stuck in. Start small and see where you go from there. So that's from me. Thank you. If you what, 16, 18, 20 minutes. Maybe. If you stayed this far, thank you so much. Please like, please subscribe. Please go and check out Robin's other videos on YouTube with her little, um, her alter ego hoodie. If you have a child that's interested in art, um, her videos are wonderful as well for everybody, whatever age. Um, go, on, go and check her out. And if you're not inspired, well, I don't know what it would take. So that's all for me for now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, diddle, diddle. Come back and see me again soon. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.